The North Carolina National Guard's 105th Engineer Battalion out of Rayford, North Carolina is in Puerto Rico. The unit and its heavy equipment is there to move earth, clear roads, and help the island get back on its feet after Hurricane Maria. While the majority of the island was still without power, job number one was to establish comms so that the recon missions could get underway. So being out here, we have soldiers and elements going out to do recons. If we can't communicate with them and they can't communicate with us, we don't know what's going on with them and, or we don't know what they can see and they can't communicate back to us what they see. Make no mistake about it, comms is the fly in the ointment to any mission success, regardless of the location. Here in Puerto Rico, that's the main way to direct help and assistance to the surrounding communities. For us to actually go out, do recons, and uh, you know, be able to communicate back and forth with our forward elements that are doing recons, they can see you know, how bad the damage is out on the roads and kind of get a feel for the, the towns in the area and see how bad they are too. First Lieutenant Smith or his crew don't drive the big trucks, but they do allow the trucks to get the job done. To actually go into an area with nothing and make something of it is a pretty good feeling. Reporting from Camp Santiago, Puerto Rico, for the North Carolina National Guard's 382nd Public Affairs Detachment, I'm Army Sergeant Ron Lee.